North Dakota men's hockey is making their third straight trip to the Frozen Four with a chance to earn their first national championship since the year 2000. Alex Egan tells us the season could have gone a lot differently considering all the changes before the season even began. The banners hanging here at the Ralph provide a reminder of just how good the North Dakota men's hockey program has been in its existence. But it also provides as a reminder that it's been 16 years since the last national championship was brought back here to Grand Forks. That could change next week as they head to Tampa for the Frozen Four. But if we go back 10 months, the future of North Dakota men's hockey was kind of hanging in the balance. So it's my pleasure to introduce to you the 16th head coach in the history of the men's hockey program here, Brad. Coach Brad Berry. May 18th, 2015 saw a major change to the UND hockey landscape. Longtime head coach Dave Haxtall left for the NHL, leaving pretty much everyone in shock. But only a few hours after the announcement Haxtall was leaving, Brad Berry was being introduced as the new man in charge. It wasn't just a coach leaving, though. Mike Richter Award winner and Hobie Baker finalist Zane McIntyre had also just signed with the Boston Bruins organization. And with 11 freshmen joining the program in the fall, the largest class in a decade, it meant there was serious work to do. But it never phased the guys already in the locker room. There's a lot of concern about a new, uh, a new group of players that, that's so big. Uh, but I don't think there was a lot of concern about, you know, Coach, Coach Barry taking over because we knew that the, the, the culture was going to stay fairly, fairly the same and the structure was going to be pretty much the same. Barry took advantage of mixing the newcomers with the established players. And it's worked so much so freshman Brock Besser is leading the team in points this season. Obviously there's a lot of uncertainty, you know, heading into the year. But, uh, you know, I've had, never had more confidence in our coaching staff and our players. And uh, especially our older guys too. And, you know, they've, been, they've handled it great, especially in the beginning of the year. Besser has been teamed up with sophomore Nick Schmaltz and senior Drake Kajula to form the CBS line, combining for 144 points throughout the year. It's not just the offense. Sophomore goalie Cam Johnson has a save percentage of over 93%, allowing less than two goals per game, better than the mark set by Zane McIntyre last season. And Barry earned the NCHC Coach of the Year award, becoming the fifth coach to take North Dakota to the national semifinals in his first season, and owns the mark as the winningest first-year head coach in program history. So despite having the large freshman class, a brand new starting goaltender, and a brand new head coach, North Dakota finds themselves searching for banner number eight. Reporting in Grand Forks, Alex Egan, Valley News Live Sports. Adding to Coach Barry's success this season is an individual honor coming in today as he is named one of eight national finalists for the Spencer Penrose Award as the NCAA Division I Men's Hockey Coach of the year. Well, guys, North Dakota will take on Denver in the first game of the Frozen Four. That starts a week from tomorrow. Alex Egan will be there to continue to report on North Dakota as they look for number eight. Definitely a hard fought season. Wishing them all the best. You're here. Absolutely.